with the flu like a mic. Uh. Scoreboard on my bullshit like Jordan is. Up like an ornament, cash in the audience. Money bags on the way like I ordered it. Bills green like it is Monday morning. The only way to start your day is right here on the Worldwide Spotlight.com. YouTube channel, I got that fire going fire. down 24 hours a day. Monday to Friday, Saturday and Sunday, Thursday to yesterday, and three weeks from right now to the day. Kevin Gates and Boozy Badass are just regular niggas and they're not bipolar. These niggas are like 10 different people, depending on the week. Like, do you trust these guys or what? Right now on the Monday morning, we're talking about Kevin Gates, Boozy Badass, and last week, I brought you the news. 200,000 views. In the video that Kevin Gates said, he will slam one on Boozy Badass if he crosses that line, and Boozy knows that. Period. Boosie said that you and him have squashed everything. You just want that from me and you throw that alley? I'm a slam right there. I'm a slam right there. In front of my child, whatever, I'm going to do a life sentence. And he know that. Before we go any further, let me tell you how niggas are acting bipolar. Two weeks ago, Boosie Badass made a video saying that Louisiana rappers are the toughest rappers in the game. Straight up. Then he started naming niggas. He's like himself. He's like Boosie Badass, one of the best. NBA young boy, one of the best. Kevin Gates, Louisiana, one of the best. Who say the only way? Nigga, we eating. Yes, sir. Who say badass? NBA young boy, Kevin Gates. I ain't gonna speak on nobody else, but I live that shit. So after Boosie gave Kevin Gates the props, saying that he's one of Louisiana's best rappers, Kevin Gates did an interview with TMZ and he said if Boosie crosses that line, Yo, he'll just slam one on him, period. Boosie said that you and him have squashed everything. You just want that from me and you throw that alley? I'm a slam right there. I'm a slam right there. In front of my child, whatever, I'm going to do a life sentence. And he know that. So word got around to Boosie and Boosie's like, what? What's this fucking punk ass nigga talking slam one on who? Boosie bad, what? Boozy Badass? Slam one on him? Okay, cool. Early this morning in a tweet, Boozy Badass accused Kevin Gates of being locked up in protective custody. Paying niggas on the range extortion just so he could stay. I don't know for sure if Kevin Gates checked off the range, had to pay extortion money to stay on the range, or got beat up and had to leave the range, but this is his response to Boozy calling him a bitch. A protective custody bitch. That's fucking hectic, bro. Check it out. My partner, big speaker. If you don't know what that is, you ain't never been nowhere. He not gonna vouch for no nigga that's pussy. I never been on PC, never been extorted. I never checked off a line. When I lay, I lay amongst the gangsters every rip. Every time they tell you down, I'm gonna build you back up. It is Monday morning and I got video, 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 video coming up next. And you don't want to miss it. It's the only channel that gives you that hot gossip from 6 a.m. to 6 p.m. When you hit that subscribe button, make sure you hit that bell button. If you don't hit that bell button, you're not going to know exactly when this is going down. I'll be back with some more hectic, hectic celebrity gossip you cannot find. Nowhere else, we're right here. Sure you can play with the flu like a mic. Uh, scoreboard on my bullshit like Jordan is. Up like an ornament, cash in the audience. Money bags on the way like I ordered it. Bills green like four.